Hello, it's Dr. Gay from First Second MRI. And this is a 15-year-old female who fell recently injuring the wrist. They were worried about a scaphoid fracture. This is the scaphoid bone here. And we see that it has nice, normal, bright signal. These are all the carpal bones. And I do not see a scaphoid fracture, so we answered the question that there's no fracture. But we see some other things here. We see the radius is this bone here, the forearm. It ends here. And this is the ulna. The ulna is a little bit shorter in the radius. Normally the ulna will go a little more distal. They're almost the same length. The, radi the ulna is a little bit shorter, but this is what we call a negative ulnar variance. The ulna is just a little short. Sometimes it's too long and it will press into this part of the wrist. And we call it a positive ulnar variance, but this one is a little bit short. Now there is one other thing. She has lots of swelling around the base of the thumb, and this is where she's hurting, but she has one other finding near the scaphoid bone here. Again, they thought it was fractured, so there is pain in this region. So we're going to put up a gradient echo sequence where marrow is dark. It looks just jet black almost. And this helps us see ligaments, very thin images. And I have a, a, an arrow here that's pointing to a ligament. So this is called the scaphoid bone. This is the lunate bone. And of course, they call the ligament between them the scapholunate ligament. And this ligament has a little tear right there through the middle of it. There's a palmar component, which is this way. Looks like that palmar half of it has a well-defined tear. Usually this looks like a little mustache, but we can see right in the middle a little fluid-filled gap. If we go dorsally or towards the back of the wrist, we see that it looks like it comes together. So the uh, dorsal part of it is intact. There's no widening between these two bones. There's no scaphalunate widening. But if we go towards the palmar aspect, the palmar component has this tear. So this is a partially torn one. When the uh, component up here gets torn, then these bones will drift apart, and we call it scaphalunate widening. And then this bone, the capitate bone, right here, can drift down between them and, uh, when these widen. So we're catching this early enough where it's only partially torn, and this would account for their pain in the region of the radial wrist. That's it. Thank you very much.